So welcome to another session of Solving Engineering Problems. Now we are on the chapter 4 of Solving Problems and in this chapter we'll be encountering acceleration and even velocity. So it is a chapter with a twist of dynamics. Now for our problem, a vessel of 5.6 meters in diameter containing a 7.8 meter of water is being raised. Find A, find the pressure at the bottom of the vessel in kilopascal when the velocity is constant. And B, find the pressure at the bottom of the vessel where it is accelerating in 2.3 meter per second squared. We have to find or solve two things. The pressure at the bottom when velocity is constant and the pressure in the vessel when it is accelerating in 2.3 meter per second squared. So first, we have to remember even the word velocity or accelerating is not given in the problem, we could base it on the units. Now when the unit is in meter per second or feet per second, it means it is velocity. But when the unit is meter per second squared or feet per second squared, it could be or it would be acceleration. We have the given of the diameter of the vessel which is 5.6 meters height of the water which is 7.8 meters and the acceleration for problem B which is 2.3 meter per second squared. Now for A. Note that when the velocity is constant or the speed is constant, the acceleration would be zero because acceleration only happens when there is change in speed whether accelerating or decelerating. So let's continue to our problem. We have an equation, P is equal to the unit weight times the height. Now how did we come up with this equation? Remember that to find pressure, you only need to multiply the unit weight in the given height in the problem. So let's substitute and multiply. And we need to cancel some units, and therefore we have our answer of 76.518 kPa. Since the term used in the problem is being raised, we would have a vertical motion. So when the acceleration 2.3 meter per second squared, it is positive since we are on the upward motion. Now we use the formula P is equals to unit weight times the height multiplied to 1 plus the acceleration divided by gravity. So we have P is equals to 9.81 kN per cubic meter multiply to the height of water which is 7.8 times 1 plus 2.3 meter per second squared divided by the gravity which is 9.81 meter per second. Now we solve it directly and cancel units. So that should give us an answer of 99.458 kilopascal. Now that is all for our session. See you on our next videos.